um, draw a picture of Mr. Hatfield and then write a couple sentences about what they liked about him as a teacher that would stand out and be a great keepsake for him. So I compiled all those and then got with some of the other parents and said, hey, how should we make this unique? Our friend Vicki, who has a child in the um, classroom too, said, well, I've always thought if we could bottle Mr. Hatfield up and sprinkle him everywhere, then a lot of other children could benefit from him as well. So I had my sister write a poem, which I thought, you know, would be unique as well. We bottled that up and sent it off. I certainly didn't expect it to ever amount to this. I mean, just a regular guy from St. Louis who does what countless people all across the country do on a daily basis. I always try to make sure I'm at my friend's door, just greeting them, uh, checking in, see how their night was the day before. Hey, why are you doing How's it going? Good. My mom likes my poem. Did she? Yeah. Just wait till we publish it and tweet it. But we'll keep that one top secret, but... My approach to teaching, I think, starts with making connections with kids. That's the most paramount thing that you can do. And again, I've, I've said it time and again, once they can see that relationship, they're going to want to work where they are. He just makes it really fun to learn stuff. He comes up with these fun activities so you don't get bored all day. He's so creative and, um, he's like, um, surgery from one of my mentors. The scrubs there are just left over from a homemade Halloween costume I had one year and I felt like spicing it up, go to the grocery store, buy some disposable gloves and kids with gloves, it's amazing what 39 cents can do. We're going to read over our poem and then I need you to help me with story surgery to my patient. It's not every day you dress up in, in scrubs and those are kind of the, those are those lessons that kids really hold on to. Come on, few teachers that will go above and beyond the call of duty to go ahead and take his free time out even when he doesn't have to and go ahead and come out and play with the kids and it, it really makes a difference in the kids. They just want to see that you're a real person. They want to see you get out there and kick a ball, strike out in t-ball. <laughs> I think it's really the most important part of my life is uh, my family and friends. Like, I don't get a chance to travel as much as I'd like but I, I don't know, I'm a sucker for the mountains. Anytime I get a chance to go camping or backpacking, I would take full advantage. Instead of making our mobiles, there's something else we're going to examine. But teaching is certainly an adventure. Uh, no day is ever the same. I think every teacher just pours their heart into this job. And at the end of the day, they just hope that they've had a great time. They've taught their kids, and probably you're going to learn something along.